Hey, welcome back to another video, and in today's Rec Room News video, I have a bunch of news for you. But before we get started, let me just go over here. Look at what I got. It's just a nice shade of gold. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I actually got this trophy for being the best rec tuber. I won it at Creator's Gala, and I finally got the trophy in my palette, and it even says it right there. Oh, look at it. It's, it's me. Anyways, though, uh, yeah, where should I put this in my dorm? Uh, I'm just gonna put you... Right, right there. There we go. Anyways, continuing onwards, if you don't remember from my last video when I covered the update, I couldn't go over a patch note because I had no idea what it was. It was about customizing your reactions, basically. Well, I have some images. Here's what it looks like. This is the actual split test that players have. Some players don't got it. Some players do have it. It's just like this little customized tab inside your actual profile now, and you're able to customize your reactions inside the sub menu. It quite literally just customizes the reactions that you're able to use in game. That's that entire feature. Papa! Stop barking! There's also this new floating screen floating around Rec Room now. And special mention for our actual news video today. I saw this really cool cosplay, and it's a cosplay of Bonky. Bonky, but in real life. It's insane. It's crazy. Big massive shout out to Full Metal Riot, the actual owner of this account who posted the images and stuff like that. They have a video about it as well, which I will have it down inside the description below. So watch that after this one. In case you guys haven't seen recently, players are getting this new customization UI split test. And basically it just changes the way your actual items look inside your customization menu. But it seems like players aren't really too fond of this because the owner of this actual image had said that this looked like a glitch or a, some sort of split test. If it was the split test, they don't like it. So let me know what you guys think down inside the comments below. Now, this video was made a few days ago and I'm coming back to Rec Room and they added a whole bunch more things to talk about. First of all, it appears Rectober is upon us and we have a whole Rectober Rec Center to talk about. We seem to have new decorations inside the Rec Center now. We have like these blocks that we can actually move around and mess with too. This is also new. We have Tic-Tac-Toe now. Uh, cool, I guess, and it even resets. And there's even checkers over here that which you guys can actually see, which is also pretty pretty cool in the rec center. I'm pretty sure this was our weekly and stuff like that, and I didn't cover the weekly this week, my bad. But of course, we'll check that all out right now, but let's check out the actual rec center shop. We have no new items inside the shop other than this seasonal item, and it seems like we have villainous creatures for this season. You'll love to see it, and honestly, I'm in love with it. Such a cute hat. Yep, I gotta take a photo for the gram. I have to. Before you ask about the weekly rotation image, there was none this week, but we did actually have some new stuff on the board. I got on the board! Haha, <laughs> that's dope! No way! Yeah! That's fire. That's actually so fire, dog. You love to see it. But yeah, uh, this is like everything from Radcon, I'm assuming. We got some stuff on YouTube talking about quest support. We got Juju on here, and we got another YouTuber. We have a new featured creator called Rao Z. They're a record builder, content creator, singer, and songwriter. Have a bunch of featured rooms, and there's our, and this is the name to all their socials in Discord. We have a bunch of featured rooms as well. Yeah, but that's super dope. I'm glad that they got a bunch of Radcon stuff on here. That's awesome. Oh yeah, and honestly, I think this is my first time ever being featured on the Instagram board too, which is awesome. So sick. And in case you guys haven't seen already, this is Rectober, Rec Room's new seasonal center. Now compared to last year's Rectober, the design is overall kind of the same to be honest, and I'm a little sad about that. I mean, hey, it works and stuff like that, but honestly, I would have loved something different to be honest. If we could go out here through this door right here, then that would be sick, but we can't. I don't know if the manor is new or not, because I think that might be the studio room that they have, but I'll check that out right now but we do have these new item sets as you guys can see we got this gothic victorian set it's like this lord pretty cool this madame set if you guys will do and I, these shoes are pretty we also have this gothic gentle lady set as well and it's kind of cute as well a nice little stained glass rose hat which is cute and that, other than that those are all the new items Ooh, that was scary that was loud i entered this manor and <laughs> That was so spooky. What is this? Cool little hangout area. Is there like anything in the books? I wonder if there's like lore here or not. It's kind of spooky up there too. I'm not noticing anything in particular, but they have this manor here, which is kind of cool, I guess. If there's anything spooky or suspicious or anything that has lore in this manor, let me know down inside the comments below, but I'm not seeing anything. But if you do want something spooky, we're about a new update. Ah! 
called the Rectober 2024 edition, they have this TLDR. The material conversion tool is now available and you can check out their dev blog for more info on how to use it. I'll cover that in a later video. Then they have a spooky season is now upon us. Join us for Rectober. And lastly, name limits have increased for invention inventory and offer names. Then for Rec Room Studio, the new material conversion tool assists you in converting third party materials to render properly in Rec Room. And for general improvements and bug fixes, they fixed an issue where back arrows wouldn't appear in the box store carousels, fixed a bug with the background app splash screen on iOS, spooky scary new Rectober app icon on mobile. Ooh. And lastly, increase the max character limit for invention, inventory item, and offer names to 40 characters. That was that entire update. And did you know that Rec Room has UGC out right now? If you guys go to your watch and check out the store, you guys will notice that we have featured Halloween creations. And you'll notice that these items aren't made by Rec Room. These items are made by players just like you and me. And these aren't even all the items I've seen so far. Many creators that are making UGC items have already been seen and shown on their profiles of them wearing the UGC items that they have made in-game already. It's pretty crazy. But at the moment, you can purchase, like, what seems to be this little demon set, this little, you know, ring pop, <laughs> this werewolf mask, which I think is super cool, a little glorb, ah, oh, a little glorb headband, and what seems to be, like, one wing. So it's pretty cool, and be sure to let me know what you guys think about this custom clothing tab. It's pretty interesting, and whenever Rec Room decides to release new things on custom clothing, that I, of course, will talk about it inside my videos and such. Do you like UGC? Be sure to let me know down inside the comments below. Also, use my code, by the way. I see you there, watching this video, sitting down. Yeah, Jeremy, it's time. Use my code. And honestly, my initial thoughts on UGC items was it's gonna be kind of like Roblox, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really mind too much. Assuming it's moderated well, then I'm, you know, actually pretty happy that UGC items are coming out because we're gonna be able to customize our outfits so much more differently. I think it's a big ups for everyone, assuming things go smooth, but then again, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. Let me know your guys' thoughts on UGC items and if you guys are going to be buying any of the UGC items you've seen inside this video. And for a little honorable mention, in today's video, we have Murder V3. Essentially, if you don't know what Murder V3 is, it's basically like Rec Room's best murder map where you can murder your friends or be a sheriff and save your friends. It's like those murder mystery maps. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I have a bit of news about this popular map, and it's been revealed that there's going to be a new map coming out soon. Announced at RecCon, it's going to be titled Massacre Aboard the Royal Express. The second map in Murder V3 story comes out in early 2025, and of course, are you guys hyped for this new map that's going to be coming out inside this game soon? Room link will be in description below. Now, I have a few glitches and bugs that I actually want to show you guys inside today's video. There's this new hat glitch if you actually don't know about it. And dude, Rec Room, a person that watches my videos and a good friend of mine had actually told me how to do it. So massive shoutouts to him and he even made a video and everything, so we love to see it. But anyways, this is how you're going to do this new hat glitch. Before we get started, this doesn't work with every single hat, but it only works with, you know, the destiny hoods or helmets and etc. I'm sure when you mess with this glitch and you try and find different items and stuff like that, you'll find more items, but no, most notably, it's like the Destiny hood and stuff. First of all, you need to be on VR for this glitch to work. Then you're going to go to your customization menu, find a hat that can't be moved around, which would be like the Destiny hood, but you can try other helmets too. Then you'll find another hat near the item that you actually want to move, so you'll click to that one. Want to click adjust on the hat, then click on the unmovable hat, which will be like the Destiny hood or the helmet that you decide to choose a split second after, so you have to do this super fast. Pay attention to this video. If done correctly, the hat you should want to move should be adjustable and you can save the outfit too if you want to use it for later. So for example, if you guys find a helmet, you can make really good outfit combos like how dude did here. So of course, check it out and uh, be sure to let me know if you guys actually like this hat glitch or not. There's also this weird bean body bug happening. So basically, we got a new upgrade on the bean body avatars and players had found a way to make themselves look like genies. I think this guy wants to give me three wishes. He, he just might. Now onwards to my next segment in the video. Basically, a dev Q&A, if you will. Rec Room community members ask Rec Room developers questions that might lead to, you know, sneak peeks about new features coming into the future inside the Rec Room Discord server. So that's why this matters. Anyways, let's continue on. Jordan Animation has confirmed that they have two pairs of heels coming soon inside one of their next partnerships. He thinks that they look chef's kiss, but they can't wait to hear what we think. It was also revealed that when someone said that footstep sounds would be cool for heels and stuff like that, Jordan Animation had said yes. This is something we talked about internally, and if heels slash platforms or any other shoe options become a popular thing we like we expect, we'd love to go and improve sounds for footsteps. <laughs> 
Did you guys know that I actually have a channel membership? My channel membership basically works like this. You give me money every month and I give you special perks every month, like being shouted out in my videos or getting sneak peeks to videos. Consider joining the family, but I have people's names to read, so let's get to shouting them out. I just saw that Nitro joined the membership as a squidling, appreciate that much man, and of course, massive shout out to my calamari and above. We got Jack Tutorial, Reed Reed, Now the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Desert Blade Cap, BB Burning Owl, Raphael, Ch Cloud, I almost said Chase, Netflix69, and of course, Box David. Thank you guys all so much for the supports over the long months, I really do appreciate it, and you guys are my dedicated followers. If you can't spare a few bucks, that's fine too, just liking the video is enough for me. But uh, yeah, let's get back inside this video. And if you guys have been playing Rock Room 4 just a little bit, you guys may notice that there's like a voice delay with other players now, it's a new bug. We got a little developer message talking about it, and it said, Sorry for the radio silence, we are working on tracking down the voice delay issue, among a few other voice bugs, and it's proving very difficult to reproduce in a controlled environment. So any information that anyone can provide on what they experience, including using the in-game bug report system, would be deeply appreciated. So of course, if you guys have any sort of information onto this new voice delay bug that could help developers, be sure to let them know down inside the feedback voice experiment inside the Rec Room Discord server. And at the moment, that's all the Rec Room news that we actually have today. I want to know your guys' thoughts and comments about everything we covered, about the new UGC items, about the developer stuff, be sure to let me know. Of course, if you guys want to see more Rec Room news and stuff like that, you guys can check out another video that's probably on that side of the screen and stuff like that. And of course, be sure to like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, and even use my code. I'd really appreciate it if you use my code, it means a lot, of course. Anyways, honestly, I would say something that's pretty personal here, but there's nothing really new or personal going on inside my life right now. Um, I just figured out there's like a $5 meal deal at KFC, so uh, take advantage of that, folks. That, that's it. That's this entire video. Bye.